Hey guys, how do you do? Welcome to the show program Users TV. Now we had started on a cherry pie a tutorial series uh, the other day. So we're going to continue with that particular series. Previously we saw a simple example of how to install and then create our Hello World. Okay. Using of course our cherry pie. Now for today we're going to uh, proceed on now for today we're going to you can see right here we're going to make of course this is what we're going to make right here you can see now our example we have improved it of course right here to have a navigation bar right here as well as a footer and then of course a list right here so we're going to see how we can pass data from our html to of course our cherry pie okay no from our cherry pie of course to our html and then of course display that particular data in a list you can see this is a list right here and we're going to use the ginger okay we're going to use the ginger templating language so you guys can see right here we have our list these are material uh, design list you can see it has a header right here we're going to pass this one of course from uh, our code and then of course we have our list items also okay so this is it we'll introduce of course the ginger tool and see how to use it of course with our uh, cherry pie right here this is our second class now of course the first thing of course is to um, make sure that we install so we've said we're going to be using the ginger templating language right here okay so you can see this is a templating language it allows us of course to pass data from our code to our html so this particular project you can see of course it's a, a cherry pie this is a server side a language okay it's a python uh, framework right a cherry pie of course is a, a, a server side a framework then what should we want what about like say for example we want to pass in data we want to pass data from our python code of course to our user interface okay so in that case our templating language is going to help us the first thing of course is to install our cherry pie now of course you have to make sure that python is installed in your machine so navigate over to your project uh, right here okay then of course once you are in your project we're going to move over navigate over to, uh, to where your project is right here via the command line then of course you go ahead i uh, use any you can use the uh easy install or of course the pipe right here to install a cherry pie just copy paste it right here then of course uh, have it enter pip install a ginger to this game goes to install your ginger so in my case mine is already installed you can see what is showing me requirement already satisfied okay so we already have it installed now let's proceed over course to our code so the first thing because is to fire up our ide so we're going to have our data this is our project structure you can see we have a folder public inside our folder we have the css of course we're using the material materialize a theme right here to theme of course our application okay so we going to have it right here so once we have that one of course we're going to have it inside our index let's start right here of course with the index dot html this is just a basic html file you can see we have our doc type html5 then of course you open our tags html we also have uh, of course our header section for our project we have the navbar then of course we have the body and then of course the navbar uh, right here okay then we have the container then the footer now if you come to exploit inside the navbar as you guys can see we have of course the home right here in our menu okay so if we come right here you can see we have our green navbar right here and then a green footer so of course this is the navbar then this is the content section and then of course this is the footer it's a very basic html a template right here inside the container so you can see what you are saying 
in fact we're going to come to this part uh, later on but then of course we have our footer uh, right here so that's it that's our html file so go ahead create a new file index.py this is of course our python fi um, file right here now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to import our uh, let's go ahead this is one of the packages of course that we're going to import right here so import os then of course we go ahead import a cherry pie okay so we go import cherry pie then of course we're also going to import environment and then the file system rather we're going to see the importance in a short while so the first thing of course just before we start we're going to get the current directory okay why are we getting current directory because remember we we'll want to style our application you guys can see that our cherry pie application right here you can see we have of course this material design theme inside our app okay so we we'll want to style it and then of course we want to load our style.css as well as the material document.css we we'll want to load those ones so first we need to get the current of course directory uh, right here for this one which of course is inside our root directory right here so yes we can get our current directory which is os.path if they are named then os.path uh apps path right here then of course we pass in the file now then of course we get our environment once we have that one we're going to go ahead create our class so this class right here is our index class of course it's we're going to use it as the controller okay especially if we're coming from other mvc frameworks and especially from the php side you can think of this our class right here as the controller okay it's going to get our request and then of course uh handle those particular requests so in this case of course we're just going to have one action method that's going to get routed right here to our home page then of course we come this is our index okay so take note of this one right here a cherry pie dot expose this particular method expose right here is going to make a this particular of course you can see these are a method in python a def index and of course we're passing in the self and of course we're going to be uh, returning a value right here so what's happening right here this is a method but then we're going to expose it of course to our cherry pie so cherry pie is going to uh of course route it to our home page okay so of course if we run our application this one right is going to lead us right out to our home page now what we're going to do of course because we need to pass data via the ginger we come uh, right here remember we had imported our ginger right here okay so template equal to environment we get template what's our template our template is this index.html so we're going to load it inside this particular template variable then we're going to render our template okay of course our ginger is going to then convert our template right of course into pure html that of course can be shown to the browser but then we're going to be passing in some data so we come right here and template return template to trender title then amazing universe then of course we have the description we're passing in the title right here then we're passing in the description then the list header then of course the galaxies so you can see the title of course is a simple string then of course a description a string as well list header a string and then of course the galaxies all right here we're going to call of course our method get galaxies we're going to define this method in a short way then the site title also is a simple string if we come to our template index.html you can see we have a uh, right here uh for instance in the galaxy for gal these are for loop right here then the galaxies okay that's going to be passed to us then you can see we have the title we have the description uh, right here this zones and then we have the site title so you can see in a ginger the ginger expression of course is wrapped with this double uh, curly braces okay so site title we're going to have it right there the title then of course the description and then of course we're going to be looping through our galaxies 
showing each particular galaxy right so let's co proceed on let's go ahead define our method that's going to return as an array so you can see galaxies we're defining a simple array right here containing our galaxies and then we're returning it so inside our galaxies right here we just call the self that get galaxies this is going to return for us this particular array that we just uh, defined so this is it we have the index and then we have the uh, get galaxies take note of course in the index we're exposing it right here so that it can be accessible for the url okay it's that simple then of course we come right here if name equal to main then we have this particular configuration object all right so we're going to come tools dot static uh real the truth the noise dot path noise dot get current working directory so if we come all right here then tools the static dir on equal to true then tools the static uh, dot dir equal to public if we come right here you can see how we are with our imports uh inside the header section so you can see we're importing of course our how we're importing our items right here so that they can be uh, rendered because we have right here static then of course css then materialize okay so this particular static files of course are uh, the inside our public so this particular public directory we're going to uh marking it as our static right here okay so we have that one then uh last but not least we're going to call our quick start now the quick start method is going to start our application so cherry pie with quick start index then of course the root directory and of course we pass in our configuration so that's what we're going to do then of course we run our application uh, right here so if we run our app then we come to this one you can see our application is getting rendered right here our list of data has been passed of course using our ginger to right here we've seen how to pass of course the text all these and the description as well as the list of which we've looked through it so this does it it's a simple example right here just our second episode passing data of course from python uh to our html via the ginger okay i'm hoping you guys have enjoyed the tour stay tuned for stay tuned for more python tutorials and take care i'll catch you in the next class